Hi everybody. Uh, today I want to do a video on how to repair an ice maker that gets jammed. Now most of the time when your ice maker gets jammed, it's something simple. Uh, it's just some ice cubes that froze up. Uh, maybe they melted a little and froze up and they get stuck between the blades and you just have to jostle it around. So if you could come around from this angle. This is what my ice maker looks like. And sometimes you can just pull it out, kind of bang it in a little bit, shake the cubes up, and that'll fix it. Uh, most of the time that's enough. Occasionally it isn't. Uh, then the next thing you can do is pull the whole thing out. And normally, because I just fixed this thing, it's, I had already emptied it, but it's going to be full of ice cubes. So what you need to do is take this thing, dump the ice cubes into um, a container uh, so that you can get to this thing. And it's in here that it's going to jam up. And if you flip the thing over... You can also see and get another view of the blades where ice cubes can get in between those blades and jam it up. And so you just, you know, poke around in there and dislodge the uh, stuck ice cubes. And then you verify that you can turn this around. And if this is spinning freely, you're done. Now, another thing that can happen is these parts can sometimes get sticky. So if that happens, you can get food grade silicone spray and then spray the moving parts. So um, parts that might get, get stuck are the plastic outer rim against the bottom here as it's spinning. Or it could be blades, which are kind of rubbing up against each other like scissor blades do. And um, they just need to be lubricated. So you just aim your spray in there, spray your blades, spray the outer uh, wall of this uh, cylinder here. I would spray over here. Every, every moving part where it contacts another part... Uh, and then I would flip it over, spray in here, and then wipe the excess silicone off so you don't get too much of it on your ice cubes. Okay, now what happened here, I had done all this and like for years this has worked fine, but today it did not work. It was jammed, it would not move. And after I had dislodged all the cubes, and sprayed it with silicone, it was still stuck. So what I did was I took the thing apart and you may not need to take this thing apart to fix what, what needs to be fixed, which is a bent blade, but I'm going to do it so you can get a better view and it may be necessary to do it in order to better access the bent blade in order to bend it back. So, you're going to have two screws here, one, two, and then when you flip this thing over, two screws here. Well, actually, um, yeah. And then you can just pull this whole thing off. So, I'm going to just unscrew it so you can see that this is really no big deal. And although you think, oh my god, you're taking the thing apart... Uh, you're going to be able to get it back together. <laughs> it's going to be okay. It's really diddly simple here. These two screws here. Just be careful to push forward because you don't want to strip your uh, screws. Uh, the heads, so then you won't be able to get them in and out. So those two, so that's loose there. And then you unscrew here these two
you know, I'm pushing in as I'm turning counterclockwise so I don't mess up the, the thread. Not the thread, but the uh, part that the screwdriver fits in. Now this part just comes right off. Now, you, you've got better access to the blades whatever. Uh, again, I don't know for sure that you're going to actually have to take this part off, but you can see it's not difficult to do. So then, you take a pair of pliers. Well, actually, before you do that, two things you've got to do. You've got to make sure that this thing, you'll notice when this thing goes down, um, it um, opens the door here. And um, so, again, that, that gives you more room to work, to open up the blades. And then, at the same time, I'm going to spin this cylinder. And what I'm looking for are uh, blades that are hitting one another and blocking it, which was the case. So let me see which blade it was. Uh, uh, it was this blade here. And this blade here was bent over so far that when it when it was rotated it was hitting the blade next to it and it couldn't it couldn't rotate so i just reached in here with the pliers grabbed the bent blade and bent it back so far enough so that it wouldn't hit the blade when it was rotating and that was it and then once that was done i could freely rotate this the cylinder and, and then that basically fixed the problem. So once that's done, you just put this thing back on. So we'll line these things up here. So you can see hole, hole. Uh, they're the wider ones. So this is the top part here. So we'll line that up. And let's put the screws back. So. Actually, I think it's going to be easier if I do these two screws first, just because of the way that the, uh, the unit sits on there. So, pick that one in first, just start it with my hand. And then I'll start the other one with my hand. get it too tight I'm going to uh, start the other two screws in case I have to move it a little bit left or right there'll be a little bit of play there allow me to get these other two screws started I think that's okay there uh, no, I'm missing it actually look in between to help you line it up. That's fine. So I'm going to tighten these all the way and then go back and finish tightening the other two. So that's snug. And before I did this, I I was online, I thought I was going to have to replace this whole unit. And with shipping, it would have cost about $200 to do that. And I think, oh my God, my refrigerator's already eight years old or whatever. And uh, is it worth spending $200 replacing this and going through all that? And I said, yeah, okay. And I said, wait a second. 
before I get another one, if I'm going to throw this thing out anyway, why don't I take it apart and see if I can figure out what's wrong and fix it? What have I got to lose? So I did that, and so if the same thing happens to you and your blades get bent, uh, you don't have to call a repairman. Just just unbend uh, un the blade so it can rotate. All right, so that's fine. This thing's back on. This thing rotates freely. One last thing I want to point out. Uh, when you're doing this, your refrigerator is going to continue making ice and dumping it into the food compartment, which was what was going with mine, and I couldn't figure out where the switch was. They said, well, there's a, there's a switch in the back. Uh, I'm looking, I don't see anything. You see a switch? I don't see a switch. So what you have to do is you have to pull this shelf off. And there's your switch. Over here. Off, on, and then if you hold it on manually for a few seconds, it'll, it'll dump some ice. So I'm going to turn it back on. Because I want it to, you know, obviously I didn't want it dumping ice while I was doing this video. And then we'll just put this back on. Line up the, the grooves here. There you go. So that's fine. And then we'll put this thing back in. Oh, I, I dumped some ice out. Let's put the ice back in. And, um, and that's it. And you're done. Now, instead of this sound, put it on cues. The sound that was going, where it was trying to turn, and then it just stops because it, it, it must have some safety protection in there so it doesn't burn out your motor turning against uh, uh, a cylinder that won't rotate. Uh, it, just, it just rotates. So if I put a glass here now, now you're not going to see a whole lot come out because there's not a whole lot of ice in that tray. But you can see it's it's just freely rotating. Whoops. <laughs> so, again, if this happens to you, and uh, uh, you can see it's not a big deal, it's an easy fix if the blades get bent, and you don't have to worry about them bending again, because if it bends again, just do the same thing again. It only takes a couple of minutes. So I hope you found this video helpful and useful. Thanks for watching.